we need some wood chips for the garden and for the chickens so I am heading to town to Gold Bar it's the closest town to us and there's a they usually have a free pile of wood chips there I'm not sure how many are there right now there was a pile but Jen said that wood got uh, pretty much taken but there are older parts of uh, previous piles that I think have probably decomposed a bit and they might be perfect for the garden so let's head to town we'll check it out beautiful Canyon Falls I can't resist pulling over and looking over the side at the falls when I drive by here it's it never gets old let me show you Well, it's pretty slim pickings here today. That bin over there is usually a good source, but that's empty. And uh, there is a bunch of stuff here, like I was thinking, that's already decomposing, so I think I can use some of that. So I'm gonna get what I can from there, and that'll be good for the garden. Okay, not a huge load of bark there, wood chips, but I'm hitting all kinds of gnarly stuff, and it kind of looks like there's sand and rock and stuff I'm hitting and dirt from where they probably were uh, pushing everything up here. And so I'm kind of trying to be careful of what I grab and depending on what's in there, if they were scraping soil that had oil leaking from trucks picking up bark, I don't know. So I think I'm just going to go with that load there. That'll get us going on uh, starting our potato beds with some compost under that. And uh, we'll just keep watching this pile, see if it grows. I think the tree service companies usually dump here and they dump over in that spot there that's in the concrete blocks. But with everything kind of shut down, I'm sure there, there's a real slowdown on creating wood chips and cutting trees. Anyway. Let's head back to the cabin. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're gonna leave this as is right now. We're gonna get some potato starts because we don't really have any potatoes chopped up. We kind of didn't plan for this very well. So I think we can get some potato starts in town. We're planning on going there in the next few days. Then we'll get those planted in here and we'll see how that goes and just keep filling it up as we go. We're gonna fill up this garbage can here to hold on to some bark up here in the garden so that we can continue to put it in the potato bed. All right, since we're up here in the garden, let's take a look around. We'll show you what we've got going. We did clean out the greenhouse. Was that last weekend? Yeah, and got things kind of straightened out. Um, we did put in this row. We moved the table over here, put in this row to plant some stuff. This is compost that we have been making, and it was just full of worms. Uh, just super good stuff. So we're going to add some dirt on top of this. And uh, have we even decided what we're planting in there? Um, we have jalapeno peppers and another t couple tomato plants probably. Okay, yeah, peppers, tomatoes, mm -hmm. give that a shot. We've got a tomato here that we planted. It's kind of one of the weird ones from last year. Um, we've got some other tomatoes this year out in the beds we'll show you. And they did produce, so we yeah. went ahead and started them again. But I think next year it's going to be all new seeds. We have our garlic in two uh, plastic pots in front. We've got garlic over here. I believe that's the soft neck variety. And then over here, we've got the hardneck variety. And uh, Jen's got rhubarb here. She's got some rhubarb over here. There's rhubarb up here. And rhubarb up there by the compost pile. And that stuff's really going gangbusters. And can you tell that someone likes rhubarb? <laughs> and Jen cleaned out the strawberry pots and thinned them out. So we've got those two pots and then we've got strawberries over here in this box. The hops are starting to take off. We kind of cleaned off the little climbing wall, metal wall there, so they could start growing. We've got the fig tree. Hopefully that does well this year. We're gonna build a frame around it with netting so the birds don't eat all the figs. We'll have to do that pretty soon, really. Yeah, maybe I'll do that during the week. Here's some of the other tomato plants that we have. And uh, over here. That one's leaning over. That guy's kind of wilty. We got a lot of rain here, so they got watered pretty good just recently. There's some over here. We're going to grow them in the black. I think those are two gallon pots this year and see how they do. And we have some scallions here. We clipped some of these and Jen dried them out. So, uh, we just had some of those in our eggs this morning, so that's mm -hmm. kind of nice. Got another wild strawberry here and over here that we picked How big that when we were on an outing once. That's yeah, huge. that's huge leaves. We have kale and chard growing here, but nothing's coming up yet. Kale and chard? Yep. All these rows here, four rows, are radishes. In a few years, we're going to have some grapes. A friend at work gave me this grape start from his backyard. It was already rooted, and um, it appears to be doing pretty well. We have kale from last year that we left the stalks in, and they started growing leaves, and I didn't know it, but um, you can grow second-year kale, and it's actually super tender and sweet. We've been eating these leaves, and... It, it's pretty crazy. They are super tasty, much tastier than the big kale leaves from the first go around. Now, apparently, um, once it starts getting nice out and warmer, those leaves will get bitter. So you have a little window there where you can pick those second year leaves and they're just incredible. So from now on, we're going to leave these in the ground over the winter after the first harvest. And then we'll harvest what we can second year before they go bitter. And we'll give some to the chickens. I already gave a couple of the whole stocks with leaves to the chickens. We still have some planting to do in these beds, but Jen did put a row of peas over here and you can see they're just starting to come in. So that's a quick look of what we got going on up here. Come on, 
girls. Check it out.